Hey, Matthew 3 and 9 people. Um, <laughs> my internet went out at 12.01 today, so I'm now in my daughter's hotspot to make these recordings because I had a couple of students sending questions before the Zoom for me to answer during the Zoom, so here we go. Uh, one student sent this question in, and it is, um, I'll try to use markers that you can see. So it's from my lab math, and it's this equation there. And so when you're doing the test and when you're doing the homework, you need to underline and highlight what the items, the variables represent. Like P is the amount of money borrowed. R is the percent. But if you're doing monthly, you're supposed to divide it by 12. In other words, 12 months in a year. And then the number of payments, like if it's two years, that's 2 times 12. We would put 24 in there. And then they give us the example. There is a four-year car loan. So I'm going to go ahead and say everywhere that I've got the letter N, I need to have 4 times 12 in its spot. So I need to have 48 there. And if you look on my exponents, that's where I've got the 48. Everywhere there's an N because they're in the exponents. And then it says it was an initial investment of 2000 so that goes right there where the P is. And then an annual interest rate of 2.4, which is actually 0 0.24, but since it's monthly, everywhere R shows up, I have to divide it by 12. So here's an R. So in my formula, oh, there's another R. They're all over the place. So where that R is, I have to take my interest, 0 0.024, divide by 12. Same thing here. There's another R. I've got to do 0 0.024, divide by 12. 0 0.024 divided by 12, and those are all my pieces except for the ones that were already listed in the equation itself. So now, once I've got it plugged in nice and neat where I can read it well, then I need to put it in my calculator, and that's where you need to do probably most of your practice. Remember I've said before, you've got to be smarter than your calculator because calculators are just dumb, <laughs> and you've got to tell them everything to do. So I'm going to show you uh, how I would punch this one in. I discourage you from writing anything down because you can write it down wrong. But this particular student, I had already shown them once, and they're like, help, I need to see a little bit more. So I was showing some more, like I put what I got from my numerator over here, but I wrote it out to a bunch of decimal places. And then for my denominator, I got it here. So this might be something that you pause the video right here where you can see these numbers and practice. And you might want to practice with me a couple of times, but on your own calculator, you have got to locate where the parentheses are. And then you've got to be thinking order of operations. And then I like to go, well, I guess I'll go forward for you guys on this one. So I'm going to start here with my 20,000. And then you've got to be watching that what you're wanting and what actually was heard is what's going in on the screen. Times. I need to open a parentheses to get this point. 0, 2, 4 divided by 12 and close the parentheses. So you can see on my screen and see where I am in the problem. Now it's times. I got another parentheses, but this one's going to end up being a double parentheses because I'm going to have to put in another parentheses right there to make the calculator behave and do what I really need it to do. So here's my parentheses that I've started. 1 plus. So I'm right here and I got to open another parentheses and tell it 0 0.024, divide that by 12, and I need to close parentheses, close parentheses, and send it up to 48. Close, close, and I have this button here, which means send it up. You might have a key that looks like Y to the X, or X to the Y, or you may have something else if you want to send me a picture of your this area of your calculator. I can help you to find it. But for me, I have to say, I call it a caret, send it up 48. And then when I hit enter, that's the number that I got here, the 44.026141. And since that was a 7, I went ahead and did a 5 because I wasn't sure what was on the other side of the 7. So I didn't know what to do with it. So I would stop the video here and practice that until you can get this to turn out to be that. Now some of you don't want to stop. You just want to leave this on your screen and then hit a big old divide for this vinculum. Start you some parentheses. You'll need like a parentheses, blah, 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 parentheses, parentheses, blah, 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 blah. And then when you hit equals, you'll be done and you'll be down at our final answer. But if you're not feeling like you want to put it all in at once, then let's go ahead and do the denominator. 
So if you're not doing the whole problem, we don't have to do all of this. So I'll go ahead and start where um, I'll start at the left. If I'm doing this by myself, I start kind of in the middle and work my way out. But I'm going to go straight forward for you. And I'm going to hit clear a bunch of times. Always hit clear a bunch of times before you get started. And I'm going to do open parentheses. Open parentheses 1 plus, let me get another parentheses opened, 0 0.024 divided by 12. And I need to close, close, and send it up to 48. Close it, close it, send it up to 48. And I just, I'm always paranoid about the calculator, so I just like to hit equals right there. <laughs> and do minus 1 and then equals. And now you're going to see that that matches this 0.100635. Um, what did I even put? Oh, yeah, for that 3, I went ahead and took the 7 to make it a, a 4. So I put a 4. And so now you might double check that a couple of times on the test or your homework before you do the final one. And now I've got to put all of this stuff in. And this is where I'm like too lazy to do that. I just like to leave it in the calculator. But I'm just going to double check that I put in what I wrote down, divide by 0 0.1006 equals and that gets us $437.40. And that's the question is, what's going to be this person's monthly payment? So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video because this question is a little different from the other ones that were submitted. The other ones are algebra, so I'll put them on a different video.